Okay, so we're now looking at doing the front cover title. Now, as you can see, I've used my chosen font, okay, having done the typography analysis, and this font's actually called Wolfsburg. Uh, and what I've done is I've added a few effects. I've added a white stroke around the edge, uh, along with an outer glow to help it stand out. Uh, I've added a gradient across the color, and I have also made it slightly three-dimensional by adding a bevel. Uh, now, I can add all these effects very, very easily. What's really important is getting the size and the location correct. So, I'm going to delete this layer, okay, in a second, once I have zoomed back out. If I go to my zoom tool and hit fit screen, there we go. Over to my move tool, box is ticked. Click on it, I'm just going to press delete. Right, now, for a new text layer, I need to come down here and go to the text tool. Now, once I've selected that, what I'll now be able to do is drag myself a text box. Now, you do need to drag, don't just click. I'm going to start from this top corner. I'm going to hold my click, and I'm going to drag a box in roughly the top third. Now, with that clicked and done, what I'm going to need to do is to make sure I have the right color selected, and black to start with is fine. All you need to do is click there, drag over to one of these corners, there or there, uh, or if you have a dark background, maybe select white, okay? So I'm gonna go for black and click okay. I'm gonna have my size at about 24 to start with, and over here you'll see I've selected my font. Now you can just hit your drop down there and you can scroll down and find it, okay? Which I did. Or you could actually type in and find your font before then pressing enter. Okay, so I'm gonna click back over here and I'm now going to type in my title. I'm gonna put it in capitals because I want this to be a nice bold title. I'm thinking about my target audience. I'm thinking what they would like to see. Right, once I've done that, I want to put the word surf onto a new line. So I'm going to click before the letter S and press enter. That's now underneath. Now, what I'm going to need to do with this text is now obviously make it quite a bit larger. So let's make it size 36, still too small. Let's go 72. Now that's a bit more like it, but still I think that's slightly too large. So if I don't want to use one of these perhaps, maybe I can just change the size myself by clicking here and typing a number. So I'm gonna go for 55. I think that's a good size. Then I'm going to press enter. So I've got the size right. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move this down a bit. Now what I could do is I could go here and press enter to move it down. But as you can see there, the text has disappeared. All I'd need to do is drag this box and it would reveal. But I don't want it like that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to my move tool and now all I need to do is move the move with the arrow keys up and down and what it will let you do is make a really nice fine adjustment now because this box that I've dragged is from one side to the other I know that this is now in the center if I double click the T over here I can go back in and edit this text up here I can choose whether it's over to the left in the center or over to the right so I've just made sure that my text is in the middle. Okay, that's my text placement done.